What's going on YouTube? Beast Mode Smooth back with another video. All right, so today we're gonna be taking a look at a video titled Modern Men Becoming Weak. How they're becoming weak. Um, this is from a YouTuber, Base Zeus. So shout out to that channel. Uh, anyways, we're gonna dive into it. We're gonna take a look and see exactly what this channel is talking about. Maybe some of the external factors that are ultimately contributing to modern men becoming weak. All right, so here we go. All right, guys, make sure you don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Appreciate everyone commenting, liking, sharing my videos. Much appreciated. This channel is for y'all. So at the end of the day, go ahead and show your boys some love. So here we go. So how did we get here? Trading our ambition to go out into the real world and accomplish our dreams to trading all of our aspirations for short-term comfort and pleasure. Guys have lost their purpose. They're stuck in an endless loop of bouncing from dopamine hit to dopamine hit on social media, porn, junk food, video games, repeat. It's become the norm to trade all of our ambition to accomplish things in the world for cheap dopamine. Why go try and change your life and the world when you have an endless supply of Netflix and pizza? It feels better in the moment to sit on the couch or lay in bed all day, but over time you feel worse, and that ambition inside you dies more and more until eventually, it's all gone. Facts. I mean, you have to remove all distractions around you. Okay. So if you're on Instagram and you're following a whole bunch of booty, big booty, completely unfollow them. Take a break from social media. Jeez. Reconnect with your mind and your body. God forbid, lose your phone. You go ape shit because everything is attached to this phone, to this device. I would recommend to all my men out there is to completely detox yourself for a week or two, completely shut down from social media and start to reconnect with your thoughts. Uh, but let's continue. If you wanna have a life and future that's inspiring, it's going to require you not only to be ambitious, but to act on that ambition as well. We went from being able to change the outside world and create more inspiring futures to escaping to video games and our phones because they give us a sense of control and power in the digital world instead of the real physical world. Guys are more filled with anxiety and uncertainty than ever before. Isn't it a coincidence that anxiety levels are through the roof when we're most disconnected from the real physical world? The quote from Alexander Cortez sums this up perfectly. Everything is real. Pain is real. Effort is real. Strength is real. Skill is real. You get what you put in. The hypothetical bullshit world of the anxious mind dissolves. You see, and that's the thing. We're caught up in the matrix. We're caught up in AI intelligence, in the algorithm. That's why you got to be very careful about the content you consume, what you click on, what, what websites you view, what Instagram pages you follow, because the algorithm starts to pick up on your behavior the things that you may like, and it starts to put that in front of you to draw you more into the algorithm and the social media reality of life. Um, so like I said, detach yourself, reconnect with your mind, body, and spirit, and really figure out what you want to do as a man. Because as men, we were designed to be ambitious. We were designed to build this whole civilization is built from a man period and for us to just lay in bed and eat cheetos all day long like that is not what we were designed to do but let's continue the world at large needs more of this i couldn't agree more we're too busy taking shortcuts for the feelings we want that we started to trade the things we want we're more disconnected from the real world now more than ever Learning to focus in a world full of distractions and instant gratification is hard, but that's why it's so rewarding. If you never learn to hunker down and focus, you'll end up living a frivolous life that passes you by way too quickly, and you'll never do anything meaningful with your one chance at life. Sorry, bro, I made humans mortal. You don't get to live forever like me, all right? The world of infinite on-demand comfort can either trap you and prevent you from doing anything in your life, or it can unlock your true potential if you learn to use it wisely. Let me give you an example. The internet can teach you to start your own business, build your own physique, and cultivate your mind, but it can also give you access to porn first thing in the morning, 
give you so much cheap dopamine that you don't want to do anything else and turn you into a robot. Facts. I mean, the internet could make you or it could break you, right? It can make you in regards to providing you the tools that you need to start a business, elevating your skill set or whatever you have going on in your life, or the internet could destroy you, right? Provide you cheap dopamine and ultimately give you a short-term satisfaction in life and you're really just wasting time. Um, so as men, like I said, detach yourself, reconnect. Uh, but let's continue. Let's see what else he has to say. We've been given the access codes to our own nuclear demise, and we have no idea how to use it without ruining ourselves. Here's a question I want to ask you. Is your phone using you, or are you using your phone? Answering this question will give you insight into what path you're on. A path of frivolous, forgettable, day-by-day -day micro pleasures, or a path where you truly make the most of the one life you have and leave no stone unturned. If you clicked on this video and made it this far, I think it's obvious which path you want to be on. Turn your phone off for a week, right? Turn your phone off for a week and see how you start shaking. See how you start jittering and how you feel all this anxiety because your whole life is in this phone. Phone is smarter than you. Every bell and whistle that the phone makes, you're grabbing and picking it up. Ask yourself this the next time you instinctively pull out your phone and start checking apps you don't care about. That's not a conscious use of your tool. That's pure habit, addiction. And it's becoming so easy to trade ambition for comfort that it's become the default for most people. Don't let this be the case for you, my disciple. Rise up and ascend to the realm of the gods, my friend. Instead of constantly filling your brain with knowledge that you forgot about immediately after you're done consuming it, focus on the action you can take to get you where you want to be. The simplest and easiest way to do this is to wake up each day and before you do anything else, before you check Instagram, before you start swiping on Tinder, write down the one thing you can accomplish that day to get you closer to your goal. And not just one thing, the most important thing you can do today to get you closer to your goal. The one thing that will give you the most progress for that day. And sorry bro, researching YouTube videos is almost certainly not the best thing you can do. And if that's your thing, make sure you add a legitimate action to that as well. If you're researching how to start a business, along with your research you should be doing things like writing down potential product ideas, potential marketing angles, and a calendar schedule for when you want to launch. Everything you do must have a deadline, otherwise you'll never accomplish a damn thing. Facts. I mean, if you don't write anything down, in my opinion, it doesn't exist. You got to write things down. You got to put pen to paper. You have to have a, a, a journal, right? You got to reflect on what you wrote three months ago and then review it and see, am I closer to my goal, right? If you have to daily have a journal and write down your entries every single day, write that down. Have goals, have, have, have a course of action for your end goal, right? Have mini goals to lead to the big goal. And we need to start rebuilding ourselves. We need to start becoming more ambitious and ultimately executing these things that we want in life. But let's continue. You'll spend all day researching when you're really just watching videos all day. Remember, knowledge with no action is useless. Knowing how to change your life is not the same as actually changing your life. Back in the caveman days, men and women had no knowledge aside from each other. They had to learn by doing, by experiencing for themselves. And that's another thing you must do. Adopt the do something attitude. The drive to take action. The will to explore and solve problems by charging them head first. By taking action. Most decisions are reversible and not life ending. So moving fast is typically better than moving slow. This is why having a bias toward action is so important. Too many of us have become soft. We complain that our lives aren't good enough while we're 25% body fat and eating sugary garbage for breakfast. We complain that we're unhappy and we spend all of our time indoors with no sunlight, no physical activity, and five plus hours a day on our phones watching other people live life. Right, and, and that's what reality TV was designed to do. People are vicariously living their life through other people versus just living their own life. And again, we're attached to our phones, social media, things of that nature. So we need to start building. We need to start building and developing 
so that we can get out of that matrix AI mindset. But let's continue. When are you going to say to yourself enough's enough? It's time for me to go live my own life instead of spending it watching other people do it. It all starts with action. I've been doing this YouTube thing now for four years, and the single point of failure I see from most men is no action. You have guys practicing their conversational skills and eye contact with girls on YouTube videos instead of actually going out and doing it for real. Even saying hi to a person is now cause for extreme discomfort and an instructional how-to video. Now again, this isn't all bad and there's some good that comes out of this, but it just shows how quickly things have changed. Our bar for discomfort is set far too low and our drive to take action is lower than ever before. If you never want to be uncomfortable, then do the same thing you're doing right now and you'll always be comfortable. But guess what? You'll never do anything meaningful. Your life is going to stay the exact same or worse and you'll always wonder in the back of your head, is this really it for me? Facts. I mean, you got to be uncomfortable in order to grow. Me being on camera right now, for me, I'm not a camera guy. You know, I, I keep it a stack. I'm not. If you told me five to ten years ago that I'd be on YouTube making YouTube videos for men for self improvement, I would have said you're f crazy. You feel me? Like, nah, I ain't doing that. Five ten years ago, ah, I ain't do. I I came from an era where you didn't you didn't even want to be on camera. You know what I'm saying? Because we were doing some things back in the day. So the fact that I'm being uncomfortable on camera for me, it's helping me grow. As a man, you have to be uncomfortable to grow and to develop. Um, but let's continue. Was I meant to do more with my life? Your answer to that question is directly related to how much discomfort you're willing to endure. Think about that question every day and then choose what the day will look like, my disciple. A lot of guys come to me for dating advice and 99% of the questions I get are from guys who are overthinking and avoiding taking the action. Like asking the girl out, sending that text, making the move or telling her how you really feel. And it all comes down to staying trapped in your comfort zone. Guys can't even text a girl nowadays without overthinking it for two hours and then settling on sending something safe and gimmicky. That's why I made the course The Godly. All right, I'm going to end the video here because he just starts pitching his courses. But the key takeaway for this video, you have to put the phone down, put the internet down if need be. If you're in a mindset where things are cloudy for you, you're not really doing anything in life, rewatch this video and take some notes. Have micro goals for yourself. Celebrate those micro goals. The fact that you're just taking action and hitting micro goals along the way and you're still progressing regardless of the adversity that you may face is an accomplishment in itself. Because a lot of people just simply stop once they feel a little bit of adversity. All right. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, peace.